Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. Para sa video natin ngayon, we will discuss on how to solve quadratic equations by extracting the roots. So basically, ano ba talaga yung dahilan bakit natin sinosolve ang isang quadratic equation? The purpose of this process is for us to know what is the value of the variable in the given equation. The following quadratic equations. In item number 1, we have x squared plus 7 is equal to 7. First thing you need to do is you need to think on how to isolate the term with the variable to the other terms. So, ang kailangan mong gawin dito ay mag-add lang tayo ng negative 7 both sides. And then, simplifying this equation, it will give you x squared is equal to 0. Because 7 plus negative 7 is 0. That's why we only have x squared. And in this one, on the right side, we have 7 minus 7, which is 0. So, we need to get the square root of both sides of the equation. Kaya nga po, extracting the roots. And then the square root of x squared is simply x. And the square root of 0 is 0. This is the value of the variable in item number 1. Now, let's move on to item number 2. We have here x squared plus 5 is equal to 41. You need to do, or you need to subtract both sides by 5, or magalan tayo ng negative 5, and then simplifying this equation, it will give you x squared is equal to 36, and get the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 36, which is 6, but in doing, extracting the roots, all you need to do is before extracting the root, you need to place positive and negative here so that your answer is positive, negative, 6. So, bakit wala tayo dito sa 0? But hindi na natin kailangan lagyan ng 0 kasi neutral lang naman 0, kaya hindi na, no need to put positive and negative. So, this is the answer for item number 1. So, explain ko lang ha. You can exp x is equal to positive, negative, 6 is also the same as 6, negative, 6. Parehas lang po sila. Now, let's go with item number 3. As you can see, the term with the variable x is already isolated from the other terms. So, all you need to do, I copy muna natin to. All you need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 16. So, cancel this one. You only have x squared is equal to 1 over 16. And getting the square root of both sides of the equation... And don't forget to put positive negative sign. This is x is equal to positive negative 1 over 4. This is item number 3. Now let's move on to item number 4. So basically we need to eliminate negative 36. So you need to add 36 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying this one, this will give you 9x squared equal to 36 and then divided by 9 so this is cancelled out you will have x squared is equal to 4 and then getting the square root you will have x squared x is equal to positive negative 2 these are the values of x in item number 4 now let's move on with more difficult type of problem in extracting the roots. So we have here in item number 5, the quantity of x plus 1 squared is equal to 3. So in this problem, copy muna natin, x plus 1 squared is equal to 3. Since ganyan yung problem natin, kapag ganting nakita niyo yung problem, pwede niyo yung extract yung roots ng dalawang sides ng equation. So this one, this will give you x plus 1 kasi mga cancel out na to. And this one is positive negative square root of 3 because 3 is not a perfect square and wala na tayong extra sa 3. And then after that, ang target kasi natin is to solve for the value of x. So all we need to do is to eliminate 1 by subtracting both sides by 1. So this will give you x is equal to positive negative square root of 3 
minus 1. So, ito na yung mismong solution natin. Pero kung gusto nyo i-expand natin ng konti, or ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng sagot natin, these are the values of x. x is equal to positive, or pwede nang nilagay yung positive, square root of 3 minus 1. This is the first value of x. And then, the other value of x is negative square root of 3 minus 1. So let's go with the last example in this topic. We have the quantity of 2x minus 1 squared minus 18 is equal to 0. So since kung mapansin nyo, yung 18 na, negative 18 natin is not separated from the first term or the x term, we need to eliminate 18 by adding both sides by 18. So the new equation will be 2x minus 1 squared is equal to 18. And then, same pattern with item number 1. Extract na natin yung roots nito. This will give you 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 positive negative 3 squared root of 2. Paano natin nakuha yung 3 squared root of 2? Yung 18 kasi natin can be written as 9 times 2. So the square root of 9 is 3. And then yung 2 natin is hindi na pwedeng extract yung roots. That's why we have 3 squared root of 2. So next thing na kailangan natin gawin is to eliminate negative 1 simply by adding both sides by 1. So, this will give you 2x is equal to positive negative 3 square root of 2 plus 1. And then, next thing that kailangan natin gawin, since meron pa tayo itong 2, divide both sides by 2. So, we can have x is equal to positive negative 3 square root of 2 plus 1 over 2. These are the values of x. Pero, i-elaborate natin. In item number 6, the first value of x is simply 3 square root of 2 plus 1 over 2. And the second value of x is negative 3 square root of 2 plus 1 over 2. So, this is the method on how to solve quadratic equations using extracting the roots. So if you have any question about this topic, you can comment down below. And I hope you learned something from this video. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salam.